and the fishing village of Kasensero, that's on the shores of Lake Victoria, is where HIV AIDS was first discovered in Uganda. Its transient population of fishermen and sex workers means the country's nationwide program to combat the virus has had little impact there. Here's more on the story. Two months ago, Shayla moved to the small fishing village of Kasensero, taking a room close to the bars alongside most of the town's sex workers. Set on the banks of Lake Victoria, this is where Uganda's first case of AIDS was discovered back in 1980. Though Shayla remains negative, her mother and sister and many of her colleagues are living with HIV. With an average five clients a day, she worries about how long she can stay free of the virus. I have a friend of mine who used the men after having sex, pulling out the condom. The man had blood coming out, so why is it kind of disease? I don't know. Fishermen make up the majority of Shayla's clients. Returning from the lake at dawn, most of the men sell their catch before taking their profit straight to the bar and the women who hang out there. 43% of this population of a few thousand people live with HIV, more than six times higher than the rest of Uganda. Dr. Cato Francis blames the startling rate of infection on the high demand for commercial sex. Being a fishing ground, we have many people flocking in for sexual activities. Yeah, baskets are surrounding, surround um, sexual, commercial sex worker. Kasansara's vibrant local economy draws people from all over Uganda and its neighboring countries, including a steady stream of sex workers. Despite a national program providing free access to antiretroviral medicines, the transients of its population and the live-for-today mentality of the fishermen are hurdles to providing regular and effective treatment. Storms are frequent on Lake Victoria. Few of the fishermen can swim, and none of them wear life jackets aboard their rickety boats. So despite the fact that they go into the lake, it's so risky and everything, so when they get back, they want to spend their money the way they want. They're like, let's spend their money, after all, the next day one can die. So they don't have those future plans. When AIDS first came to Kassan Sara more than three decades ago, no one knew what it was or how to treat it. Even though that knowledge is available today, the culture of risk and the women and alcohol that accompany it leave many with a devil-may-care approach to preventing the disease.